Hello everyone. Now we will start with our next debugging exercise or debugging challenge. And the major motto of this series is to increase our debugging skills. Now in this example also, we will take ALV. Now, whatever the examples we covered as of now, yes, in all those programs, we are not getting the output. Now, in this particular program, whenever I will run, we will get a runtime error. So, output is a different thing at all. Before that itself, yes, we will get a runtime error. And sometimes runtime error is very clear in information that by the information itself, we can predict why, why the runtime error is coming. Suppose I'm running this particular program. We have the data. We have the field catalog. And we are binding our data with the field catalog. Our data is in LT final. Our field catalog is in LT underscore field cat. I'm running this particular program. I'm giving the input sales document number and I'm executing. See, there is runtime error in the program, runtime error. Now, the most important part. We, when I run the program, we got the runtime error. Now we have a transaction code that is ST22, ST22. Whenever we have a runtime error, we can always, always check through this particular transaction code ST22. Suppose at this point of time, when I run the program, I got the error. I got the runtime error. Suppose after half an hour or one hour or tomorrow or after two days, I want to check what was the runtime error at that point of time. So I can always, always check through ST22 transaction code. Extremely important transaction code from the project's perspective also. Whenever we have a runtime error, it's always, always be in ST22 transaction code. So if I will go to ST22 transaction code also, I will be able to check same to same information. So this error occurred today. This runtime error occurred today. So I will simply click on to today and just just at this point of time, I got the runtime error. So you can see my program name, this entry is there for this runtime error. If I will double click, you can see same to same information is there. It is clearly saying on what date, at what time the runtime error triggered. So you can check the runtime errors always with the help of ST22 transaction code. Now we will simply, simply see. But the runtime error is saying type conflict in a function module call. Type conflict. Now if you will scroll down, it is clearly saying we are calling the function module reuse ALV field catalog merge and we have LT field cat is not compatible with CT field cat. It is clearly, clearly saying the information and maximum time, yes, the runtime error are very, very clear in information so that we can easily, easily correct all those things. So problem is with this reuse ALV field catalog merge. LT field cat is not compatible with CT field cat. Once you scroll down also, SAP will take you to the line number also. Right where, where this runtime error is triggering. Suppose if I will scroll down. 
This is our program code. If I will scroll down, have you seen this kind of symbol is coming? This kind of symbol. It means at this particular time, at this particular time, runtime error triggered. From this particular line, 21 number line, the runtime error triggered. And it is clearly seen in reuse ALV field catalog merge. CT field cat is not compatible with LT field cat. Now just click here. It will take you to the code. This is our program code. This is our program code. And it is saying CT field cat and LT field cat types are not matching. And maximum time from the freshers perspective, we do this particular mistake. Now, how we can check the type of CT field cat? CT field cat is a part of changing, changing. So I will double click on the function module. I will go to changing tab. CT field cat is of this type, this type. If I will double click here, it is a table type. It is a table type which is referring to this particular structure. It is already, it is a table type, table type. Now I will go to back button. I copied this table type. It is a table type. Now, in front of CT field cat, I declared LT underscore field cat. If I will double click, but I have written LT field cat type table of table type. Now, how it is possible that you are using table word here also and you are using table type here also. If you are writing type table of, it must be a structure type, structure type. If you are already using a table type, how, how we can use that table of word? Most, most common mistake from the freshest because we always has a perception that internal table, type table of, type table of. Type table of, we need to always use whenever we have structure type. But whenever you have a table type, never, never use table of word. So if I will simply, simply remove this word, I will just go to the section. I will close this. I will go to change word. It's already open. That's why it is not allowing me to change. So I will go to the program. Now I will simply, simply remove this table word. So now CT field cat is of type this. LT field cat is of type this. So there will not be any type conflict at all. So if I will run the program, I will give the input. And you can see we have the accepted output. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we analyzed the runtime error. See, previously, whatever the programs we have, at that time, there was no runtime error. We are not getting the output. But in this case, we have the runtime error. So whenever you want to check the runtime error, because it might be the case after 10 days, 20 days or on, or you want to check on a particular date, how many runtime errors triggered or after some time you want to check what was the runtime error in the program at that point of time, because currently there is no runtime error in the program. So you can always, always check the runtime error through which transaction code ST22. So in ST22, suppose our runtime error triggered today. So we went for today 
and this was the error in the program. Sometimes runtime error are very, very clear in information. It is clearly saying type conflict first. So we understood that there is a type mismatch from our end. Then once we scroll down, it is clearly saying LT field cat is not compatible with CT field cat. Now from here itself, you can go to source code where the source, where, what is the line number where the runtime error triggered. So just click here, source code extract. This is your source code and it is clearly, clearly giving the symbol here. Whenever you will see get this guy, whenever you will get this kind of symbol, just understood this is the line where the runtime error triggered. And it gave the information LT field cat is not compatible with CT field cat. So how we check that particular type? We simply double click on the function module and we saw that CT field cat is of this type. It is a table type already, which is referring to this particular structure. It means LT field cat, it must compulsory will be of table type. So I have written LT field cat type table of table type. So it is never, never possible that you are using table of also, you are using table type also. So we simply remove the word table of and now the program is working fine. And it's a common mistake which we do always from the freshers perspective. So that's it in this particular debugging exercise or challenge. Thank you.